Good morning, y'all. So it is now 7.10 a.m. And I've been up since 6.30. Been walking around for about 40 minutes now. Trying to catch them all. Trying to catch the damn Pokemon. Trying to get to level 5. It is now 7.40. I've been walking for an hour now. And I'm finally level 5. But I gotta go to like a gym to um, pick my team. Or something, I, I suppose. But I'm not close to any gym right now. But, uh... Just for the record, you know, I've been walking before Pokemon Go. Got the Chromecast in the room. I wasn't using this TV, I was just leaving it in the other room. But I got a Chromecast, now it works. Don't want to forget these vans that I just bought and the rece receipt because I got to return this. Let me show you what I got. Black with brown sole. It's like skater edition. You can see some blue through this, these holes. Uh, different tongue and on the back you got this stuff that really isn't me I'm not feeling it this is the current physique right now Yeah, as you can see, 130 grams of protein. I feel like it's keeping my muscle pretty well, you know? It's not like I'm really losing much. Yeah, before I go out and do these errands, I just wanted to show y'all what I've been eating lately. So I got Checkers fries. I got the Keebler's coconut delicious cookies. Got the, you know, the Froyo Ben & Jerry's. It's just pretty good. Got the reduced fat Oreos, reduced fat Chips Ahoy. Got the original Fudge Stripes and some Lay's Southern uh, Gravy and Biscuits chips. And I usually eat this grilled chicken. And I got all these buns and stuff for um, these turkey patties by Genio. And I got these chicken patties. I've been eating this kind of stuff. Oh, of course, eating a lot of rice too. But it's all about fitting it into your macros, man. Like, all I do is I'm really cautious about what I'm plugging in and they're just numbers, really. So like, if one day I wanna eat all Ben and Jerry's as my carbs, I'll probably do it as long as my fat grams allow me to. Um, but I obviously don't do that, and uh, that's why I like to eat chicken. It opens the doors to a lot of other snacks and things that you can eat and still stay sane, you know. Because um, I have been, get it has been getting to me a little bit. Eighteen hundred calories is finally getting too little for my body to handle, um, and I'm now upping the, the calories to 2,000 calories because I feel like it's going to help me, you know, sustain this leanness longer and I'll be more satisfied on a daily basis, which will allow me to expand the time horizon for this cut. Blake loves it when we make the bed because she just gets on my pillow side and uses the pillow, like literally. Her head was leaning against the pillow a second ago. So I ordered these vans off the website as well, and they turned out pretty good. Always remember to bring your drinks when fasting. Check it out, I got this magnet that you stick in your air vent. So it comes with this piece of metal that you stick onto the back of your phone, and it'll just suck onto the magnet. like that. So now it's on my dash. It's pretty tight. Back for the Americano. Just sitting down right now at Starbucks, enjoying the weather. Drinking Americano. Which is pretty good.
Now I'm stopping at Publix because I always got to get them weekly, buy one, get one freeze. Usually have a good deal. I've literally been staring at these cakes for like 10 minutes, trying to decide if I want to eat it. Alrighty, y'all, first things first, I'll show y'all what I got at Vans. I was just going to return it and get the money back, but I saw these fresh ones and the, the dude was telling me that they just came out. So they're pretty tight, like with these laces on top. It looks really good, but um, it's got these samurais on the inside, as you can see. So it's like limited edition. It's got this on the back too. At Publix, got cinnamon toast crunch, special berry, got more tuna because I cleared my my cabinet out, I had like six cans left and I made a bunch of tuna salad, which was pretty damn good. They had this salmon on sale, so two fillets per box, let's buy one get one, so like four dollars each, I got four of them. And last up, I got this cheese Chicago pizza. So I got my carbs, my protein, and uh, more protein. So that's how I really shop. Like, I just focus on getting protein and carbs, and then those will have fat in it, and then by the end of the day, it'll add up to my appropriate fats, which is usually like 60 to 70. But um, the key is, you know, get reduced fat and like, you know, macro friendly things. And you can definitely make that, um, keep that fat low. So these are my new vans that I got today. Got the samurai poking outside. The brown lace is going. So right now it's like 3, 10 p.m. and I'm heading to the gym. Just drank my C4, ate my BCAAs and creatine and uh, my friend, Koger came over and we uh, just chilled for a little bit, but my girlfriend just got her job at Haverty's. It's like a furniture place. It's pretty high-end furniture, like $1,700 furniture, so we're going to use her discount, like 40% off, and try to get like a, a nice set for that sun, that garden room. Basically, I'm going to take out my girlfriend uh, and we're going to celebrate her second job, so... She's working two jobs now, man. That's I've never really worked two jobs, but 40 hours a week, man. That's that's already a lot. Let's see how she uh, how she does. Get that discount too. Man. Yeah, that was a good ass workout. Did chest and arms and the abs. Cause I'm going on a date tonight. A good way to make your girl feel special is to look swole as fuck at the nice restaurant you're taking her to. So I did back, arms, and abs today. Still fasted. Got that back pump. All right, so to break my fast, I'm gonna have these Coconut Delight by Keebler. I'm gonna have four of these cookies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm eating two leftover pizzas from Pizza Hut. Reheated them in the new wave. Ready to go out for the night. So I teared the bread and the plate and I put about 4.5 ounces, uh, ounces of this tuna salad in there. And I'm putting 0.5 ounces over because of all that other stuff in it. But this one put me at 60 grams of protein. And I'm gonna finish it off at the restaurant. Diana got the job. Now we're going to dinner. Celebrate. She just got the new Acura ILX. 
with the, the 17 inch rims. Midnight blue, looking good. Or Catalina blue. the Atlanta Beltline. Looks like a lot of people usually walk this. So this is the Atlanta Beltline. Got all this cool graffiti on this, under this bridge. Got some crazy shit. Some Lil Wayne looking stuff. Pretty cool part of uh, Atlanta. And last up, we got some Kemp's frozen yogurt, got some moose tracks. Having two servings of that, so that is 130 grams right there. Pretty decent bowl, man. That Kemp's comes in clutch. So I hit about 2,400 calories today, a little bit over, like 2,450. But it's completely okay to overshoot your calories once a week, you know. As long as you're hitting your target calories for the majority of the days within the week, you should be fine. About to rain. Show people this, not just country over here. This is what a three million dollar house looks like in Atlanta. Like, in the heart of Atlanta. Yes sir. I think they call this here affluent. <laughs> <laughs> Very affluent. <laughs> You got the W over there. God damn, this guy got a goddamn lawn right in the damn city. Yes, sir. Living large out here, man. For real. Final destination, y'all. Yep. In Atlanta, at least. I know in San Francisco, y'all motherfuckers be paying like 3000 a month. <laughs> Black Hulk, Black Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Cr 
cool I land the spot. <laughs> Thank you.